So this is live. I haven't seen this block. I see the picture. My boy Spaceman, who you might remember, sent me this. Bro. You will in the world. Jump so high, they telling me it's my genetics. Push my body, find myself, remove my limits. Anything's possible, down to the red. Go for it now or go live with regret. Stop the search. The question is really how hard are you willing to work? I don't. I watch the highlights. Dude, Ja Morant had the most insane block yesterday I've ever seen. Bouncy. My whole damn life. It literally was like an NBA street ball block where he caught the friggin' ball with two hands. I, I need to see a Steven Sally reaction video okay. to Ja Morant. I need to see it. Okay, so he sent me the link. I haven't watched it, but I did see John Morant's John Morant. I said Giannis Antetokounmpo's Giannis is name wrong, and I got roasted for it. So I don't know how to say his name. Yeah, he said it like Ja. Anyway, Morant. Um, I saw his dunk head at the rim. That was nasty. He almost literally nailed it. He's uh, amazing to watch. I'm ready to watch this thing now. Ready? Here we go. Internet. <laughs> Wait, I need to see the replay. It's a little blurry. He's going to be so high. Oh my god. How do you do that? That's like scary that you're going to break your freaking back. Oh, um, that's like two hands above the square. Oh my god. He does it so hard too. He could have. That's what's funny. Wow. Okay. So first of all, it's funny when you like smack it with two hands. You could just like touch it, right? Some people do that once in a while. They just like touch it out of the air. They're so high. But it's just exciting to see what he's gonna do next. It's exciting to see what he does, and other people keep doing because he's just one of the few. I don't know anything. Okay. Don't. I mean, this is like when comedian podcasts say that about politics or something. I don't know anything. It's gonna be fun to see more people with insane friggin' hops in the NBA doing insane things because hops are becoming more trained and uh, everything. It's not just one freaky jumper like it was. That was nasty. I'm going to pause it one more time. I'm going to pause it like at how tall uh, at the top. Oh, my God. Right there. Oh, my God. So he's forward leaning. So it's already a little far. The ball's above the square like line wise. His hands are probably above the square and he's he's timing that block. How do you score? You can't score. That is insane. His head is like rim. Le His head's probably rim level. Again, put you, putting your arms down, your head goes higher. So he's probably above the rim. And usually I, I don't hate on it, but I say when LeBron gets his head at the rim, it's literally 42 inches. And that's just math. My max vertical is 42 and I'm doing crazy dunks, but it doesn't, I don't look, I'm not even near the rim. I got like eight inches to go. So What's, we have the same vertical. Oh, you get the point. So that's my reaction. Send me more clips. I should do this more often. Uh, have a good day. Now anyone can do it. Nothing special. I get it. Check the neck and something magic in the way that I spend it. Yeah, that is a practice, but you gotta add the action. Keep it real simple. I'm the one that... Nothing matters. And nothing really exists. You can create your own reality. So, I mean, just go enjoy your life. Have a good time.